Hello guys, um, my name is Quinston and uh, I was thinking that I should make a video in which we are actually coding the Dijkstra's algorithm instead of explaining to you how to actually calculate the distance from the source to the destination with the help of some graph. Okay, so if you want to learn how the algorithm actually works according to a graphical representation you can go to some other video and uh, you know check that out and then come back to this video to see how you actually code it okay so let us start by writing uh, the code um, but the thing is that I'm gonna be using Java in order to code and if you come from a, a C or C++ background it's okay don't worry about it I'll explain um, what similarities there are between Java and uh, C++ as we go through the code Okay, so the first thing I need to do is import java.util.scanner. Now, this is a scanner class which we are going to use in order to take the input from the user. Uh, it's very similar to the C in or the scanf functions from C++ or C respectively. Um, yeah, the same. Then you do public class program because I named uh, the class program because it's a program I guess then you do public static void main string args okay now this is um, if you are from the C and C++ background again this is the main function okay this is the main function int main and you don't need to return a zero over here so then you do scanner sorry scanner scan equals to new scanner system dot in this is how you initialize or make an instance of the scanner uh, class that is uh, you have the scan object which we use to you know take input from the user so in order to begin with the algorithm the first things we need is uh, are the actual matrix okay we use a matrix in order to find the shortest path so we will store the matrix in a variable in an in a double uh, um, in a multi-dimensional array we're going to use a two di two-dimensional array to store the matrix obviously the rows and columns okay so in this we use int matrix equal to new int 5 and 5 I wrote 5 over here because we're going to use um, five nodes in this particular graph which I'm going to be showing later on okay and you do int distance equal to new int 5 okay now this is the distance matrix uh, which is going to store the first row of the matrix oh, sorry this is the distance array which is going to store the first row of the matrix double dimensional array okay now what this does is it takes it updates itself according to which new nodes you visit okay updates itself according to the new nodes it visits so that that particular element in the node will have the least distance you will understand that later when we you know get into the algorithm a bit more then you have int visited equal to new int 5 now this will uh, give you information about the nodes you have actually visited while the algorithm is running and then you do int pre d equal to new int 5 now uh, pre d is something which will uh, help us to you know get the actual path and that will be at the end of the video so you know you should probably stick around for that big finale or whatever um, so these are the things these are the arrays we require so we need another variable that is the int min and the int next node which is initialized to zero the next node is going to hold the value of the next node which we find in the running array so just you, you get that later and minimum is going to store as uh, advertised the minimum okay so what we do next is accept the graph adjacency matrix from the users so in order to do that you do for 
int i equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus now we are doing 5 only because we have 5 nodes for int j equal to 0 j less than 5 and j plus plus as simple as that and then in order to accept the values you'd go matrix and go i comma j is equal to scan dot next int and this will accept the value from the user now while we are here we can do one more thing we can initialize the visited array to zero also the pre d array to zero also and uh, that's about it in this part and uh, what we do next is we go and okay there's one more thing to do over here and that is if the user enters zero as a matrix input what you do is you go in and change that zero to infinity but you can't change it to infinity in the computer language so what you do is you change it <coughs> to 999 which is the largest value which could be possible okay you go and change to 999 so you matrix i j is equal to 999 and this will be done if matrix of i and j is equal to 0 cool So the next thing you do is uh, set the first row of the matrix to the distance array. So you go distance is equal to matrix of 0. As simple as that. And you initialize the first element of distance as a 0. Because there is no distance between the source. It's right. So if you're going from A to A, there is no actual distance you're going to travel. So you do distance of 0 equal to 0. And mind you, the source which I'm going to consider in this example is the first node, that is the 0th node. I'm starting from 0 through 4, right? So for the 0th node is the first node. Okay, and then you uh, set that node as visited. So the 0th node is equal to 1. Okay, sorry, SI visited. Okay, so what we're going to do next is actually start the algorithm. So we want this whole piece of code to be executed about five times. So you go for int i equal to zero, i less than five, i plus plus. And you set min is equal to 999. Now, you'll understand why we do this uh, after I, you know, actually run the code. So I want to go through the whole distance array and find the minimum value of the value the element stored so you have a uh, 4 int i equal to 0 sorry i is already used so i'll use j j less than 5 and j plus plus okay now i'm going through the distance array now i have if min is greater than uh, or suppose yeah min is greater then distance of j okay if min is greater than distance of j and visited of j is not equal to 1 and what you do is distance of j is equal to oh sorry min is equal to distance of j min is equal to distance of j and also we also put next node is equal to j and that's all we're going to cover for this video um, you can watch part 2 after this thank you